Hey everybody, it's January 4th today and uh, it is a typical Wisconsin January day. It is uh, 8 degrees outside with a wind chill of negative 13. But even though it's this cold, we are still thinking about CSA and still trying to get people signed up and uh, still trying to get started this early. The spots fill up fast, but the reason that the farms do a CSA is to have seed money for the beginning of the year. So it is important for us to get people signed up right away and start getting payments coming in so that we have a little bit of that uh, upfront capital in order to get our season started. So any maintenance that needs to be done or supplies need to be bought or seeds need to be bought that we can get that done with that, uh, that little bit of upfront money. Um, so today I'm here to talk to you about uh, our market style CSA share. Um, I had a friend ask me to do a little video explaining it a little bit better. Um, unfortunately, I don't have uh, a whole lot of produce right now that I can show you or demonstrate how it's going to work. So we're going to kind of work with the imagination a little bit today and uh, try to figure out, uh, see if I can't get the point across on how this is all going to work. So I'll try to put out a little, few more videos on it and answer any more questions if I can in the comments or in emails. But uh, we'll try to cover everything that we can and try to make it as easy as possible. So first things first, the market style CSA share is customizable to a point. Um, it is definitely more customizable than a pre-bag share, which is the farm or myself decides what's going to go in the bags. Uh, we decide how much is going to go in there and we are going to pack it all and have it ready for you to pick up on your Thursday or your pickup day where the market style share, you're going to be able to walk in, choose from the things that are out there. We'll have more products because even though we pack the bags, there's usually more products than what we put in the shares. So we don't want to overload people with anything. So we try to space it out, you know, only put beans in like every other week or only a pound for a couple weeks and then give it a break. So, you know, that's just one example of the way that we pack the bags. But if you really like green beans or you really like cherry tomatoes or, you know, your thing is corn and you want to come in and just pretty much take your share in a couple different items, that is probably going to be possible with the market style share. Now, there will be a maximum amount of things that you can take, but I'll get into that in a little bit. So it is customizable to a point. It's not 100% customizable because we're still going to put a few things out that we're going to require you to take. But I will get into that as well. So the market style share is based on a points-based system. So a full share will be 30 points and a half share is 15 points. So we will assign points to specific items and the points that are assigned to them is based on either the weight or the bunch that they're in. So everything will either be by the pound, it'll be bunched, or it'll be in a bag. So greens, herbs, things like that, we have them in, you know, lettuces in a half pound bag, herbs are usually in a one ounce bag. Those will all be pre-bagged, everything will pretty much be set. There's going to be some things via, you know, tomatoes, carrots, um, your root crops, anything that we usually sell by the pound at the market, it'll be by the pound in the market style share. So you'll be required to grab a bag off the roll or bring a bag or just put it in your bag. Uh, but you just weigh up a pound, throw it in, and then that would be per se one point or two points. Um, everything will be labeled, everything will be in crates, so anything that we pick out of the field, it'll be picked, cleaned, washed, uh, packed or bundled or bagged, and back in the harvesting crates, those harvesting crates will just be set on a table. Everything will have a sign on it, and it'll tell you what it is, what the bunch is, and how many points it is. So from that point on, you'll be able to build up to your 30, 15 to 30 points. Uh, so imagine now, if you will, we'll kind of work with me here, imagine walking into a perfectly rectangular room. On your left hand side when you walk in there's going to be tables sitting there. On the first table there's going to be a section, probably half of the first table, it's going to have three to four crates on it. Those three to four crates are going to have those three to four things that we're going to require you to take. You have to take at least one bunch or at least one bag or at least one pound of those three to four products. If it's something like eggplant, that might just be one eggplant and that'll be assigned a certain amount of points. But by the time you get through those three to four uh, crates, you should have four points made up. So you'll pretty much start your bag with already four points in it. At that point, you'll be able to go through and choose from everything else that we have out on the tables. And again, like I said, it'll all have a point system based to it. So as long as you can just continue to add up two, three, four, five points, you'll just go through and decide what you want, make up to your 30 points, and you'll be done packing your bag. <clears throat> now. The cool part about the market style share is you can walk past some things, you can take two, like if there's something that's uh, that's marked for two points per bundle, 
say carrots. Say one day we bundle carrots and it's like a pound and a half of carrots for two points. If you want to go four points on those carrots and take two bundles, go for it. The crates, if I don't have very much of something, the crates will be marked with a maximum amount that you can take. So you can't take too much of it because I don't want to be shy for anybody else that's coming in. I don't want to leave the last people to show up if they're late after work or anything like that. I don't want to leave them with just the entrails of what's left. You know, people came through and picked through it already. I want everything to be nice and fresh and still have all the options for everybody. That being said, I will be able to go out and harvest more and put it out there. So we're going to have a maximum amount that you're able to take, but pretty much a lot of times it's going to be almost unlimited. Um, what it is, is there is a exchange table. So in the middle of the room, we'll have a table set out there that you can, um, if you don't say you don't want your eggplant or you don't want your bundle of radishes or anything like that, or we have an excess amount of one crop or two crops, we'll go and put those two crops out on that table. And if you say you don't want your radishes or you don't want that eggplant, you go and drop that eggplant or that bundle of radishes on that table and take something else that's there. Granted, there may or may not be something there all the time. So if you're the first person and nobody else has been there to exchange, there might not be anything there for you to, to exchange with. Uh, we'll try to put out a few different things. And the idea behind the market uh, style is, is that we're still going to try to take you out of your comfort zone. So you still want you to take those first few things and at least try them. If it's like, I've already eaten eggplant and I just don't like it. I'm not going to eat it. I don't want you to take it home. Just throw it away. So if you need to leave it there, please, by all means, leave it there. You may or may not end up with something else to fill your bag with. So it might be worth just trying. But that that's the second really cool part about it is that we're still going to have some sort of exchange option for you. So you don't get stuck with something that you just don't want. Those four, three to four items in the front are not going to be just you know, turnips, rutabaga, radishes, uh, eggplant, things that most people don't, you know, or some people don't like, um, and they're not like a real desirable crop. We're still going to put in things that are a desirable crop because it's meant to um, also put more things out that I have a lot of. So again, like I said, if I have one crop that I just have a ton of and I need to get rid of some of it, those crops will be out on that three to four table right there. So you'll be able to take more of that. Um, you'll be required to take them so that I can get rid of a little bit more of that stuff and uh, keep my inventory in check. So hopefully that helps everybody. Um, if there's any more questions, I can answer them on the comments or in the emails. Um, please, again, don't hesitate to uh, hit us up on the contact page on our website. Uh, you can leave a message on Facebook, drop me a line directly. Um, the contact page goes directly to my cell phone so I can answer any questions uh, pretty quick. Um, but I uh, hope everybody will uh, consider joining with us this year, and uh, we hope to see you this summer.